Forbes has written an article mentioning that the biggest tech talent gap can be found in the SAP ecosystem. They have backed up their claim with facts and data and I have summarized the key points of that article in this video. If you are new here, my name is Arun and I make videos about the SAP topics. Please subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with the SAP ecosystem. Now getting into the article, it starts by referring to a paper that was published by the Progressive Policy Institute, which is a think tank based in the US. They conduct researches and publish papers on various topics. Anyway, they mentioned that in 2019, there were about 7 million US jobs that remained unfilled. In 2023, that number rose to 8.5 million jobs as per the US Chamber of Commerce. It doesn't mean that there were shortages of people applying for jobs, but there were shortages of qualified talent. Now, what is a qualified talent? A qualified talent is someone who has got the required skills and relevant experience for a particular job. Now, that is an oxymoron because on one hand, there are organizations which are looking for people with relevant experience. But on the other hand, there are fresh graduates and students who just come out of the university looking for that first job, which will give them that required job experience. This is where doing certifications and internships will come in handy. Stick to the video and I will explain why. The next section of the article talks about the areas in which there will be a talent gap. The areas that are mentioned are software as a service products like Epic, WellSky, Zendesk, Atlassian, Amazon AWS, ServiceNow, Salesforce, and Workday. But the biggest tech talent gap will be in the SAP ecosystem. The reason being, Salesforce and Workday are not the world's most widely used ERP systems. They are not even close. SAP claims more than 90% of the Fortune 500 companies run SAP for their accounting, logistics, manufacturing, supply chain management, and payroll purposes. Some of the world's biggest companies like Apple, Microsoft, Walmart, IKEA, all rely on SAP to run their business operations. In fact, SAP has more than 425,000 clients in 180 countries, which is three times more than what Salesforce claims as their clients. SAP's ECC application, which is their core ERP system, is going out of support in 2027, which means majority of these 425,000 clients will be looking to migrate to SAP S4HANA, which is SAP's latest ERP application. But a survey conducted by the America User Group has found that more than 49% of the SAP clients in America believes that there is a lack of S4HANA talent in the country, which is holding them from starting the S4HANA project. It is not just the SAP clients, but the same survey has found that the SAP talent gap is hitting SAP partners like Infosys, HCL, TCS, Wipro, Accenture, and so many more. Now, what is the solution? The article offers a couple of solutions. Number one recommendation is to be job ready before getting the job, which means prepare yourself as much as possible by doing SAP certifications and internships. SAP offers more than 145 certifications on their website. Certifications on topics like Espahana administration, Espahana migration, procurement, logistics, and supply chain management are in great demand. There are so many free resources available as well, using which you can learn more about SAP. I have previously made a detailed video about those resources. I will provide the link in the description if you are interested. The second recommendation is for the SAP partner companies to offer as many internships as possible to the students and graduates in the SAP field. SAP certifications and courses alone are not going to prepare the students for a job in the SAP ecosystem, but their theoretical knowledge must be combined with practical experience so that they are truly ready to take on a role in the SAP ecosystem. So what are the takeaways? First, we must acknowledge the fact that there is a huge talent gap for SAP talents in the market, and that gap is going to get bigger and bigger as we move forward. As a solution, job seekers are recommended to prepare themselves as much as possible by doing the SAP certification courses and also learn about SAP using various resources that are available on the internet. And finally, the SAP partners and other organizations are recommended to offer as many internships as possible to the job seekers so that they can get practical experience and become job ready when there is a role available for them. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and I will see you soon in another video.